Okay, I bet I can pick those up now. O'Malley's computer. Okay. Let's go the full length of this puppy. Already caught me. Stop. Uh, stop you. A new security gate has been installed and activated. The gate code is 0002. Do not disclose this code to any non-tenants. Security concerns all of us. Sam really fucked up this time. We told him, we told him to keep it cool, but you think you'd come up, that you'd come up with a clean solution, but you know him with his crazy-ass temper. Said there wasn't no risk, which would mean there is a risk. He was covered and whatnot. Went straight to Big Ben's corner and iced him in the middle of the goddamn street. He said it was deserted, but I've heard through some of my personal channels that a local dealer might have witnessed all of it. I'll hit you back once I know who he is and what he knows. This is Big Boss. If they ever get to Sam, you know he'll talk. I don't have a code for this, right? Right. It would be awesome if I had a crossbow. Let's go with the hay. Rise of the PMCs. In 2011, Blue Water Global, the world leader amongst uh, private military corps, became the subject of a scandal that altered the landscape of the military contracting community. On the heels of accusations of wrongdoing by its employees in Afghanistan, a journal with the Sentai Shimbun captured images of BG staff engaging in clandestine dealings with insurgents that per apparently aimed at prolonging the elements of the conflict. The outcry that followed sent shockwaves through the PMC business. Within a year, congressional hearings and a massive fall in shareholder confidence sounded the death of Nell for Blue Water. Uh, public sentiment is turned against PMCs, but the need for them was still very immediate. Sensing the opportunity, Roger St. John's faults, co-founder and CEO of Bellwater Associates, filled the power vacuum. Bellwater's tarnished Bell Tower. Tarnished, untarnished image worked in the corporation's favor, beginning a rise that took it to the top of its industry. Shotgun. God damn it, I need more inventory space. This guy's gonna be, get home and he's gonna be like, who the fuck dropped all this shit? Who fucking showed up and just started throwing painkillers around? Left me all this beer. Seriously, this is not enough inventory space. Um. Balls. Uh, suppose I can drop these. You down here, and we'll you up here. And then will that allow me to pick up the shotgun? No. Temporarily drop you. Put things into a little bit better perspective. There. Shit, it was the same length as that. I get one or the other. Do 
Drop it. No. Shh. Drop it. Ooh, it is a little bit shorter. So it needs four tiles. And if I can get this relocated somewhere. Let me see. Where can I put this? Where can I put this? Where can I put this? I need one more fucking tile. Alright, I'm going to drop these extra trank darts. Move that there. Move this down here. Uh, move this back over here. There. And now I should be able to pick up the shotgun. Painkillers. And fuck the rest of it. The guy's gonna be like, who the fuck came here and dropped all this beer? The hell. Now, there should be a gun dealer downstairs, too, so that should mean that I should be able to sell off some of this shit. I don't really want all these guns. I just figure they're probably worth some cash. Can I hack this? Let's do it. Access granted. Running out of stop hacks here. Same newspaper. Same newspaper. Looks like it's per game segment. Alright. Yep, new gate security. Brian, you there? Yeah, Brandy's not doing too good. I'll take whatever you got. Can we meet? Uh-oh. Brian, you there? All right, but I. You think you can just cut me off? Come on, man! I need my new pos. The shit hurts. I already have a shotgun. Oh, I don't have room for its ammo. You have a pocket secretary. Sorry, man, we couldn't score as much as last week, and I'm all out. I'm not doing this to you on purpose. Trust me, I'm looking for extra sources right now, but I can't get an answer yet. Just don't do anything crazy. So Tyndall's dealing it. Alright, where was I? You there? Brandy's not doing too good. I'll take whatever you can get. Not a good idea. Gotta keep a low profile. She's in pain. Neighbors are going to complain to the cops. She needs new bows. All right, but I don't have much new bows left. I'll pay. I don't want money, Mark. It's never about the money. What about Corella? Can you score more NP for him? He's getting less and less cooperative. Shit, don't you have dirt on him or something right here in my pocket, man? But you can only push a man so far. 
I'll meet you behind the gas station down the street. Don't, but hurry. I don't like being out in the open like this. No. You seem to be dealing there, buddy. Part 6. Where now? Ours has been described as a bleak city, beset by tension between race, between rich and poor, between humans and augments. While it is true that Detroit never fully recovered from the loss of the motor vehicle industry in the aftermath of the oil crash, can we allow that to be the epitaph for our metropolis? Amid the darkness, there is a beacon of light. The forward-looking Seraph Industries have made our city the co their corporate headquarters after constructing a manufacturing facility here. SI's founder, David Seraphs, uh, hopes that Detroit can once more become a beacon city, a place where reconstruction can set the plant standard for pl other places across America, and each day we struggle against the harsh realities of life in our embattled urban wasteland to reach this laudable goal. Alright. This guy ain't got any more shit here. The fuck? Bombs everywhere. I knew it. Yeah, I know it's full. Alright, I gotta get down behind the gas station. well-made environments. Back over there now. Now we're gonna try to find any... Hey, buddy! Jensen? What are you doing here? I think you know why I'm here, Tyndall. I want Corella's security footage back. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm Seraph Industries' chief of security. I'm pretty sure I can find out about an edited security tape, so don't bullshit me. Ah, oh, shit. Listen, Jensen, I never wanted things to get this bad. One mark for bad Alpha. Guy. I feel for Corella, I really do. But sometimes, for a good cause, you have to get your hands dirty. Oh. There's a good cause now? Oh, I see. You think I'm selling the stuff, right? I understand why this would seem like an obvious motive, especially to an ex-cop. But trust me, you shouldn't always take things at face value. I'm not selling the neuropazine, I'm giving it away. Giving it away? To who? To the people who need it. You think everyone gets augmented by choice? No. Shit happens. And then what? You're saddled with neuropazine injections for the rest of your life, and that shit costs money. But what choice do you have? Without the drug, you'll die. Rejection syndrome, crippling pain, that just ain't right. So I did the only decent thing to do. I stepped up. I can respect That's respectful. That. But blackmail is still blackmail. Corella wants out, and I'm here to make sure he gets out. Man, this whole thing is becoming way too much trouble. I've even got two local pushers on my back because they say my philanthropic actions are undercutting their profit. That's not your only problem. A gun yeah. client was waiting for you in your apartment He earlier. was pissed. Really? In my apartment? Shit. The dealers probably sent him. Tell you what. Uh -huh. I'll deal with the client later. You take care of the dealers, and the footage is yours. Let's do it. Look, you're right. You're in a tough situation. I wish I could help you out of it, but it's your mess, right? You're the one who's 